slide we will discuss about process control how process is controlled and managed to do some operations the control to the flags are controlling with any of the command that's coming under controlling of the process this can be used in unix system using with different uh, way different functions or different commands where set to go for do the controlling of the process here we are discuss about changing user id and uh, group ids here changing user id means this contains two different types of prototypes under the unix standard dot h at a file one is written integer type set uid uid with the uid second one is set gid gidt with the variable gid rules we have to go for follow we have to follow if the process has super super user privilege the set user id function sets real user id effect user id is a saved set user id to uid if process does not have super user privilege but uid equal to either real user id or saved set user id set uid yeah, set only effective user id and uid if neither of the two conditions in the true error number is set to e prom and error error is returned id exec to exec here we are consider there are three different versions of user id and set user id and set group id here for execution of those user ids set user id bit on bit off those things should be considered real user id is unchanged unchanged in both sections effect user id is unchanged and set user id of program file saved set user id should be considered copied from effect user id and then in the execution of copied from effect user id like this we are consider to perform the operations uh, uh, in uh, changing user use use user id concept here user id is uh, set the account to the count of the process id it identifies which file that the process has access to effect user id it is usually same as real user id but alternative it is changed to enable a user privileged a non privileged user to access the files that can only be accessed by the root the saved user id is the third one it is used when the process is running with saved privileges seeks to to do some seek to do source under the privilege work this can be this can be scheduled by technically reaching to non privileged accounts
in this slide we are discuss about the new systems and privileges such as being able to change the system notions of the current date and access control such being able to read or write a particular file are based on user and group ids when our program need additional privileges or need to gain access to resource that they currently are not allowed to access the need to change their user or group id to an id that has appropriate privilege or access in general we try to use least privilege model when they we design our applications for example we can set a real user id and effect user id with a set user id function similarly we can set a real group id and effect group id with a set gid function there are rules for who change the ids let consider only the user ids user ids if process has super super user privileges the set use set uid function sets the real user id effect user id and saved user id to uid if process does not have super privilege but uid equals either the real user id or the saved user id set uid sets only the effective user id to uid the real user id and the saved set user id are not changed if there is if uh, neither of these two conditions true error number is set to ep erm and one is to return we can make a few statement about the user ids that the kernel maintains that the kernel maintains only super user process can change the real user id normally the real user id is set by the login program when we log in and never changes because login is a super process super user process it sets all all three user ids when it call set uid effective user id is set by exec function only if set user id bit is set for the program file if set user id bit is not set the exec function leaves the effective user id and its current value we can call set user id at any time to set the effective user id to either the real user id or the saved user id saved set user id normally we cannot set the effective user id to any random values the saved set user id is copied from effective user id by exec if the file set user id bit is set this copy is saved after exec stores the effective user id from the file's user id in the slide the table shows summary of various ways these three user ids can be changed these user ids can be changed here we want to go for changing the user id and group ids we are supposed to go for using two different uh, functions one is set uid that function returns uh, integer values and if it is return zero when the user id is set to okay if it returns minus one some error is there in setting the user id similar pattern int set group id is there here also consider only one parameter gid here in this function also return zero if it is okay set the group id if it if it shows minus one that indicate that it contains some error 
changing user IDs and group IDs. Already we discussed this concept with the three different rules. Once again, I recall the same thing. If the process has a super user privileges, the set UID function sets the real user ID, effective user ID, and saved user ID to UID. If the process does not have super user privileges, but UID equal either the real user ID or the saved user ID, set user ID sets only the effective user ID to UID. The real user ID and saved set user ID are not changed. If neither of these two conditions true, error number is set to EPERM and only returned. Here changing user IDs and group IDs. Set REUID and set REGID functions. Swapping of the real user ID and effective user ID with set re UID functions. These two functions returns integer type value with the, the different parameters with the RUID and UID, read UID and then execute UIDs, RGID and EGIDs, set the group IDs. One is user IDs, second one is group IDs. We can use sets and also done the things should be done. Second one set U U E U I D and set T E U I D functions U G D function. These functions are not set U I D and set G I D but only the effective user ID or effective group IDs is changed. These two functions are written in the form of integer values with the help of uh, EUID and EGID. E means effective user ID and effective group IDs. This figure shows a summary of how changing the user IDs and group IDs should be considered depending on super set user ID with the R UID and E UID, nothing but real user ID and effective user IDs. One is super user set UID and then super user set UID with UID1. For that we can consider there are three different types of users, real user ID, effective user ID and saved user ID. This is a summary of uh, the figure, how the informations are exchanged with the different types of uh, IDs, they are called and then uh, if it is working with the uh, uh, privileged and unprivileged modes of set and uh, get operations with the uh, exe function with the set user ID. And then real user ID, effective user ID and save set user ID, how these things should be done with the uh, unprivileged login set user id and privileged login set user ids here particular request made for real user ids from the super user ids then that information transfer to the unprivileged manner to the effective user id and then that that, that, that thing should not be considered once again back to uh, real user id if it is in a saved set user id the UID set should be changed and then it transferred to the unprivileged set user ID to the effective user ID. Uh, from that, uh, the thing should be changed with the unprivileged set user ID to the real user ID. Finally, we are considered to discuss these things. This is this shows summary of uh, how changing the user IDs and the group IDs operations.